Why in Boston does this always happen? Why are they always experimenting with these stupid ideas? It's as if they're trying to out-Democrat themselves. <laughs> It's like a race to be as blue as you possibly can be. You, you never want to out-Democrat San Francisco. No. Let San Francisco take the lead. That's right. All right? And then kind of stay back, and you won't have all that collateral damage. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, you know, the, the major plague in San Francisco is the homeless, right? As far as I can tell in Massachusetts, it's all these kids going around voting. And what the heck are we talking about here, Jesse? <laughs> You just got a taste of Barstool sports comedian Francis Ellis on Jesse Waters' program on Fox News. And apparently during a taping of his Barstool sports podcast, they were caught on hot mic where he was sharing his true feelings about Fox News. And it seems as if, even though he's a regular guest, he knows that the network is incredibly damaging to the country. As Mediaite explains, during an episode of Barstool Rundown published Tuesday, an editing error captured Ellis dishing on the network he said is just trafficking in hate. Mediaite obtained the unedited audio, which was published online and then quickly removed by Barstool. After signing off at the end of the show, co-host Adam Farone, better known as Roan, asked Ellis about his latest appearance on Jesse Waters' primetime Monday night. Quote, it was okay, Ellis said. Well, he wanted me to talk about how Democrats in Massachusetts want to lower the voting age to 16. Look, I got home. I talked to my wife about it because I was disappointed in myself. And she was like, let's be honest. Like, do you want to be working with these fucking people? She was like, I watched the rest of his show. He's a fucking joke, Ellis said of Waters. This is still part of the rundown, Farone said, joking that the hot mic conversation would air. Still rolling, baby. Someone else chimed in from the audio engineer booth. Ellis continued unfazed by taking aim at Tucker Carlson. And then, like, Tucker comes on and just screams, he said. It's so weird. They're just trafficking in hate, Ellis added. Now, he goes on to explain how he's kind of feeling this moral dilemma about going on the program because he's a comedian, so he wants to use their platform to build up his name recognition, but simultaneously he knows that the network is toxic to the country. So now that you have a little bit more context about what he said, I do want to play the clip for you in question that he was talking about. So before I show you his portion, basically, Jesse Waters sets up the segment by shitting on younger people, showing viral videos of them doing stupid things, and essentially using that as a justification to not allow them to determine their future, which is a very bad argument. But I mean, it's not like I expect top tier political commentary from Jesse Waters. This is somebody who is unsophisticated and he's just a hack. I don't think that even Jesse Waters believes half the things that he says. But regardless, this is the portion of Ellis's interview. And um, this is what he had to say. Let's turn to Francis Ellis, comedian and Barstool writer. What the hell is wrong with Boston? Jesse, look, I, I'm a fan of Boston. I went to Harvard, spent four <laughs> years there, Cambridge, technically. Haven't heard of that. Had to get that in there. But now I, I have to say, this is very disheartening. I mean, you know, what's next, right? Soon, as you said, they're going to be, they're going to be, why don't we just form our own child militia? <laughs> Seems to be working in Africa. Who says we haven't done that already? I don't know. I don't know. My old friend Q might have something to say about that. <laughs> I, I used to just go get pizza at this place, but now we go down to the basement and train. Stop it. You know, at 16, people like you hadn't even lost their virginity yet. Well, and you think they're ready to take that step and vote for politicians? Yes. I mean, you know, can't say that. Uh, actually, that was exactly the age for, for me. <laughs> So I can't uh, I can't say. But, you know, look, you're right. There is a big gulf between 16 and 18. And anyone who says to you, you know, what's the real difference anyway between 16 and 18? That person's liable to find themselves talking to Chris Hansen <laughs> on the set of To Catch a Predator. That's true. I mean, if you're inviting over strange guys with seltzers yeah. and and handcuffs, mm -hmm. should you be actually voting for your next political leader? No, absolutely not. And, uh, you know, when I was 16, the only house that I could possibly have voted on was the Hype House or the Sway House, those TikTok kids, who, by the way, are very handsome. But I wouldn't go there. You shouldn't go there. No. Chris Hansen's going to show up. Yeah. Why in Boston does this always happen? Why are they always experimenting with these stupid ideas? It's as if they're trying to out-Democrat themselves. <laughs> It's like a race to be as blue as you possibly can be. You, you never want to out-Democrat San Francisco. No. Let San Francisco take the lead. That's right. All right? And then kind of stay back, and you won't have all that collateral damage. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, you know, the, the major plague in San Francisco is the homeless, right? 
as far as I can tell in Massachusetts, it's all these kids going around voting. And what the heck are we talking about here, Jesse? Republicans will never win another election again in Boston. That's or right. Massachusetts. I mean, have they won one recently? I don't even know. What am I asking you for? You don't even know. Yeah, I don't really follow anymore. That whole part of the country is dead to me. Now, that's basically it. They go on to talk about the school that Ellis attended for like 30 more seconds, but that's the crux of his appearance. And as you're going to learn, he actually felt pretty gross about that. He also said this during the hot mic moment, quote, I think last night I went into a place that I shouldn't have gone to, Ellis said candidly. No, because last night I was like, yes, the Democrats are like eating children beneath pizza shops. There are people watching that who don't know that I'm fucking with them. They're like, finally, a young, handsome person is saying it. Ellis joked. Are you Jesus? A producer said, ribbing Ellis for being too harsh on himself. What are you going to fix everybody? Come on, bro. You're there to tell jokes. I'm not here to fix people, but I'm certainly not here to, like, further divide the country, Ellis concluded. Wow. So he feels guilty about his appearance on Fox News. And to be clear, I think that a lot of guests who go on this program know what they're doing. They know that they're participating in an attack on democracy, on the further polarization in the United States. They know that Fox News is bad for the country and what they're doing is wrong, but they do it anyway because the platform that you get access to, the audience that you get access to, the ability to build your name recognition is just too alluring for too many people. And they take the bait knowing that what they're participating in is just wrong. And I have no evidence that these people don't believe what they're saying, but I think folks like Dave Rubin, is probably just saying what he needs to say when he goes on Fox News because he wants a career, and he has a career, to be clear. But when he started to go on Fox News, you could tell that the pandering ramped up more and more because he started to get a response from the audience and build a name for himself. So, like you see, Ellis kind of going down that same path, and he's stopping himself and asking, do I really want to do this? His wife is having this conversation with him, and, you know... She's asking, do you really want to associate with these people? And he even talked about how they wanted Ellis to be the Jesse Waters because Jesse Waters was actually, uh, he got a start on Bill O'Reilly. And they talk about this during the hot mic moment. You could watch it uh, on the media page that I'll link to in the description box. But he says that they wanted him to basically like take bingo cards to New Yorkers and have them pick to see if they saw a rat or something. And he thought that the, the idea for the comedy skit was so stupid. So basically, he feels guilty about using this platform when he knows what they're responsible for. So the question is, if you are an individual like Ellis, and you know that Fox News is toxic for the country, it is brainwashing millions of Americans, but you're using this to build up your own name recognition, is that bad? Are you part of the problem? The answer is an unequivocal Yes. If you know that what you're doing is wrong, what you're contributing to is wrong, it doesn't matter if you're going on there and you're just joking and you're a comedian. You are contributing to this network that is destroying the country. So, yes, now that we know that Ellis knows that Fox News is bad for the country and his appearances there are helping to contribute to the further polarization of the United States and right-wing propaganda. If he keeps going on, then we now know that he's putting aside his moral uh, feelings, his feelings of guilt and grossness, and he's doing it so he can continue to build his name. So um, it seems like he really is somebody who doesn't want to do this any longer. Uh, I listened to the audio, and you can kind of hear it in his voice. He felt really... I think disappointed in himself that he allowed himself to go that far in the jokes that he told. And even if he was joking, the Pizzagate joke, the QAnon joke to him was just, he felt like he went too far and he doesn't really want to do this. And he's actually feeling introspective. So for that, I respect him. He doesn't necessarily seem like a lefty or even a liberal for that matter. But just the fact that he's vocalizing some morality is really, it's commendable, right? But the true test is, will he continue to benefit from this platform or, or will he say no i'm not going to participate in this toxic bullshit that's yet to be seen but at least if he shows up again we now know he doesn't believe what he's saying but i hope that he does the right thing and i hope that he stops going on fox news because this network is bad and the less people that contribute to its success the less people that go on the better off i think we'll be as a country but either way they're here and they're not going to go away anytime soon 
So I wish that more people would choose to not use this platform to build names for themselves. There's better ways to get your name out there. And I think benefiting from this disgusting right-wing propaganda, white supremacy, um, brainwashing of boomers, like all of this election denialism, there are better ways to get your name out there than to add to that noise.